Good morning. Yo, what's up, Yorna? Thanks for 33 months. What's up, new? Good morning. Oh, God. I'm working on these splits, but apparently they're comparing to like best segments, I guess. I don't know what the the minuses are there. It must be. Oh, my God. 
Crazy Destroyer. Uh, the fight started off a little sketch. What's going on here? Pair against personal best. Uh, it's probably just messed up because there's empty splits. I'll probably be saying now and then, but I'm uh, testing out auto splitter. Seems to be working pretty nicely, but we'll see. There's a few parts where I'm concerned about it working. For the most part, it's good. Very much almost just slid it that first pitch. <laughs> I'm so fixated on jumping, sliding.
Mm, I might be too far to the left. Yep. These things I gotta remember. What's up, Zemo? Thanks. Yeah, I woke up super early today. I did remember it. DST, but... I'm all messed up. I usually don't have problems falling asleep, but once I'm awake, I'm usually awake for quite a while. Okay. 
What's up, Sniper? What's up, Scars? It's going good? We just started, really. Tango Man's a really good fight, it's just, just hard to do it, right? Clown Man is a fight. are all messed up. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> kind of beef, kind of beef that section. <laughs> That was actually a pretty good season. Hey, what's up, Cabin? Honestly, for Thunder Carnival, that's a pretty good pattern. What happened to original Mega Man? I think they still have yet to tell that story. do new technology which is to press right and get down the ladder quicker and it blew up entirely save a few frames or blow like 20 One blue ball. Not bad. 
Hey, what's up, Abda? Good morning. Gambatine, Rugu. See, the shop split is the most important split of all splits. Bring that to the wall skip there in a little while, but not right now. First priority is do a bunch of runs with these flips. Make sure that it all works. Judgment, exactly. You know, I thought about it like I wanted to isolate Astro Man 1, but really it's about isolating the menu. <laughs> Controller is uh awfully clackety these days. Fighting you, Astro Man. So that wasn't such a bad idea. Ideal is no Astro Crushes, but one Astro Crush. It's uh... Feels like it's usually one or two. Distance. 
Oh god. Pseudo maker. I'm worried about this auto split. Yeah, that worked. I need to jump into that transition. This guy. I, yeah, clear as you can see, I just missed the good frame rule. So that was actually almost not that bad, but if you get put into the next frame rule, you're falling on the waterfall forever. Just like that. Yeah, this is the only one with swimming. Don't come towards me. Oh, you're gonna get course. Die. No dying. Ugh. Bad. I'm getting exposed because I barely know what I'm doing against this fight. <laughs> That's not good. My positioning was like almost good for the water attack, but it, it ended quicker than I thought it was going to. Aquaman is weird because he, he may go to the left to the right based on his opening pattern and it can be kind of devastating. Rarely seen Aquaman death. The thing is, when you play the stage aggressively, you take two, two spike deboosts. And that does a lot of damage to you. It's ordinarily fine if you have enough HP. But, yeah, messing up Aquaman. Rough you up. Oh! 
for getting my new strat here. Yellow, red. Not new. I think I can maybe try to squeeze him in an ice wave. What? Thanks, Nacho. Yeah, least favorite. Unsurprising. Next. It's okay. Really? Could you... What? What was the heck? I thought the quick kill was guaranteed. With the, the amount of damage he had taken. But, oh, that was dangerous. This is a legitimately very hard stage to do, right? Not like this. Uh, rough around the edges. What's up, PRS? Come on, sword man. Help me to help you. I should be in the middle of the screen too. It's rough. I missed two big hits. He didn't flame cross me. Fire cross. But awkward. Yeah, I don't. I don't dislike the stage. It's just hard to me. Search man, though. Search man's great stage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. Sword man, fifth. Used to use ice wave up the walls. Claw being a problem. It was okay. Last screen was good. Ready? Let's go. Oh. 
Yeah, that's uh, like good times are around 34 mid. That makes sense. Died on Aquaman. Slop otherwise. Dying on Aquaman is not not ideal. I really like, so I'm, I'm testing out Auto Flitter, I said this before. It seems to be working nicely. That I don't have to like micromanage or worry about splits. It's just, I, I despise having to deal with splits mid-run. But the one thing I do have to look out for is that, like die or mess up. You have to adjust, most likely. It depends. Depends on how it... Because it's image matching, so there are times in which I use a black screen. So if you die, you're gonna get a black screen early, or if you like pause the menu or something. But for the most part, it works for like actually good runs, no problem. It's actually holding up pretty right now. The most problematic screens in testing were... Gorone in Aquaman stage. That's real good. Oh, that was slow. Cool. That's just a tornado hole. Uh. What's up, Purple? Well. That worked. What you think? Think I got cheated out of it? <laughs> I think I was off by a frame or two. I wrote down. I, I recently like combed through this game and went through everything. Uh, I'll look it up afterwards, but. I think it's a free frame window. Practice trying to get by the Hanya attacker without landing.
Did you know that you can swipe away the projectiles? With flame short? Did you know? Oh, that's the HP drop I did not need. That's my fault, though. Should have kept my distance. Well. Thanks for the luck, Zonk. Hit on like the frame I was about to attack. pattern. <laughs> Morning ice plug, Doyson. Thanks for nothing, Blaking. True final boss has been and always will be Forte. Oh god. No! It's over. That was that was a rough time to miss a slide. Pretty good. Oh, that's that straight up. And that. And that. You get ice wave there. Yep. Uh, what? what? 
I gotta do that. It's on a dead run, dude. The wall of Green Devil. This is by far the most dangerous part, right here. That's actually really good. I gotta be jumping into the teleporters. Who says bonsai anymore? Gotta bring it back for search man. Bonsai. Also, the refights in this game are based on the stage select. Like, they map the same way. The left and right side of the room, kind of cool. That was not the right move. I do legitimately need to 
practice is in the reflights trying to deboost and get the health as quickly as possible. I do it on Aquaman, but there's there's room for improvement on some of these other bosses. for each free fight, yep. This, uh, these splits are powered by Auto Splitter, which is like the first run I've been trying it out on, and doing pretty good. I think the, the time there is just kind of messed up. I don't think I lost 10 seconds on that fight. Yeah, it's generally nice. It takes a while to set up for sure. Like a few hours, I would say. But once you have it all set up, it's pretty nice. Just depends on the, the length that you're running, how many splits you have. The only problem is that, like, technically I should probably split on kill here and then let it go, but I'm using a... I'm just letting it split on the white screen fade out after the text box. Because technically you should be using JRTA timing for this, which is last input, which is on the final text box and it's not on boss kill. For this reason right here, because Rockman has to walk all the way to the left. So I should have been on the left side for that. So last input. Technically, it should be time now, but you can just use a modifier because it'll be consistent. GG. You don't. I don't know what this is comparing against. It says best run. Best. Uh. まずい。この
これで助かるはずだ。君の心の中が見える Yeah, I'm not too worried about auto split or failing. I think if you have a clean capture, it'll work fine. I think it's problematic when you have like composite capture. You're playing an emulator, you can just hook into RAM values. For truly optimal speed gaming, <laughs> which is questionable. <laughs> Is Mega Man says me too, dude. <laughs> yes, JRTA split and then anime split. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if the the raw uncompressed version of this exists somewhere. Blues is so cool. Blues. Aits kara dengon wo tanomare teiru. Duo kara? Nani? Arigato datte yo. Duo. Boku mo. See, this is truly the evolution of Mega Man's design because his his outfit looks less like it has underwear and more that he's got shorts on. Short shorts. All right, I like the song, but we'll we'll, we'll listen to it next time. Oh, you want electrical communication? This is what you get. Alright, you can get electrical communication. Battle Chase is a bad. It's it's pretty janky, but it's actually pretty fun.
I'm not sure if it auto plays or if it goes into the. I know it can auto play, but I don't know the first one it does. I might have to just reset. PS2 is chonking these days. Six, seven. Through seven as well. It's cool. I mean, seriously, where is Duo? Oh, I might actually need to restart because uh, I don't know if, if I if this sweet. Right, we're gonna find out if our this sweet is slow. We should be able to tell. That seems slow. I'm not totally sure. Yeah. You know the Japanese version of this game is cool because it has a bunch of babies on it. <laughs> In all my time of playing this game, I like never actually used the soft reset. Because you can, well, I used the in-game soft reset. Sorry, not the console soft reset. I only do the console soft reset when special request. Yeah, you can definitely tell. <laughs> yeah, so you can soft reset by just doing Start select and then the L and R buttons. That was a late split. Thank you. 
jumping there as well. Tree number one, I know. Just like Mega Man 6. The panda. I really like how both Mega Man 8 and Rock Man Forte have like the same interest stage time. Would I be my babies? On the. Try to look up the disc art for the Japanese version of this game. That'll explain everything. Just a baby. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Ooh, doo -doo. Ooh, doo -doo. Ender of Speedy Gaming. Ender of Speed Gaming is a whole. That last shot, I should have just done a full charge. Ending this fight is actually pretty hard because you can. Yeah, unlike most other, well, pretty much, I think every other Rockman game, you don't have like an individual tick bar.
How did I... Okay, I'm gonna have to look at... Like, <laughs> you can't lose 1.1 seconds gold to split. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Slides in this game are like just a little bit different than Rockman and Forte. I've been trying to work on a double tap slide method where you, your first attempt is to try to hit a frame perfect slide or as close to optimal as you can, and the second one is like a backup. And it's good, but it's hard to adjust, especially when you like mess up entirely. The game tells you sliding twice. It's a good one. They knew, dude. They knew. Yeah, okay. This is... It, it's comparing against... It's comparing against best. But I very clearly have that not slide. I gotta 
grab this. So I recently did some investigation about speed, specifically in this stage. So when the wind effect is taking place, which is at the end of Tengu 1 and Tengu 2. So Tengu 1 is the section right before the auto scroller starts, and then Tengu 2 is at the end after the bowl jumps. When the wind effect is taking place and you're sliding, you move it 4 pixels per frame. And if you're jumping, you're alternating between 3 and 4 pixels per frame. So sliding is better, generally. However... The act of landing onto a platform... ...lowers your speed. It lowers your speed to 2 frames per 2 frame. 2 frames per X pixel, or 2 frames. Then... One pixel speed for two, one frame. <laughs> it's probably not clear at all. Your speed goes from alternating between three and four to two, two, one, zero, and then if you slide immediately, it goes back up to nine because you adjust your position when you do a slide. Which is standard stuff, like sliding. Chaining slides together. Anyway, the point is that you can lose time unless you do it frame perfectly. By trying to land on the ground to execute a slide. Again, sliding is faster, but jumping is not that much slower. That's only true in the wind section. Everywhere else, sliding is way faster. Because when you're walking in this game, you're alternating between 1 and 2 speed. But when you're sliding, you have a consistent 3 speed. If I can edit the layout mid run, I'm just trying to figure out why the splits are comparing against best, even though I clearly.
blew up the train sequence again. Not great. <laughs> no. Thunder Carnival. Wasting time. Catch me at Thunder Carnival. Throwing my free time in a dumpster. <laughs> What's up, Beta? How you doing? Ada, congratulations on your huge 50 shrine victory. Put the rest of us scrubs in our place. Morning, RTA. It's been too busy at night. The month of March. A lot happened. It's gotta be morning for me. Guaranteed to PB on DST day. And you're guaranteed to shit game quit forever on anti DST day. Thank <laughs> you. 
other way around? I was thinking, like, you need to correct it. So you save time to get back on schedule. So it's open to interpretation. Are you telling me I'm gonna SGQF today? the backup. How do I use all my balls? That's unfortunate. Because the beginning of the stage is actually really good. What's up, Krimi? Actually, a really generous Astroman pattern. I missed a shot because I I thought Flash Bomb was like just about to wear off, so it was almost good. I can't tell you how much I hate managing splits mid run, so Auto Splitter is like. Chef's kiss for me. as a new strat. I used to damage boost into it, but I timed it and it's definitely faster to pivot around and try to kill it. Didn't jump there again. No, that was almost really good. If you get him stuck in that position, he can be really friendly. That was actually still pretty good. When he's like stuck hovering right above you, and there's no platform spawning, he can just do that forever. Pretty sure that happened in my PB. there. I timed that recently. <gasps> no, 
not just... Well... I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, creamy. I think especially if you're playing a PC game, it's just gonna be like extremely consistent capture. Alright, well, we didn't die this time, so, good. Ow. It's almost like deaths in Mega Man games are extremely punishing. It's actually like a very respectable gold slit for a while. feet tall. I was very lucky on the second attack that he didn't do fire cross. He 
human-sized legs. That's right. Detachable human-sized legs. Sword Man's pants? Okay. Yeah, it's like floating head doctor scrubs. Independent thoughts. The brain is in the hips. Stop saying. Tori almost got me. Bad, but not impressive. Hey, boy, come on. No, try to dodge the attack. This deadly storm, deadly storm, bonsai. That was rough. I should check out what my PBZ robots are. It's probably like a very high 33. Maybe low 34. It's about their self. Hail of Salt. I love Swordman's entrance. I want you to admire the background of the stage. This is your meditation. Admire the background of the stage while you listen to the sweet sounds of sliding and jumping. That was actually really good. Mm 
No! So close. Ooh, that's the one that matters the most, besides the first one. If you get both the first and the last one like that, grooving. Joe just evaporating from existence. Peekaboo. A lot of the enemies spawn off screen on camera, which really messes up your whole strategy if you get hit somewhere that you weren't expecting. Well. What's up, Baron? Yeah. That's right. I remember Orsa replying absolutely base to it, too. It was that and the... Um, what was it? The, the skip and Astro Man with the door. I didn't tweet that one, but I remember posting on TAS videos with that. for this good pattern of liking. Just so everybody knows, my PB is a 50-58 in this game, so it's like I'm just getting used to I'm just using different splits here while I get back into the swing of it. <laughs> that is an insane time swing. Oh <laughs> uh, how I miss this game.
Yeah, Baron, I'm using auto splitter with my capture. I think it's really good. You just have to like accept that you have to discard your previous splits because you have to set them up slightly differently, but I'm okay with it. But like, I think classic Mega Man, I understand that a lot of people don't really want to do that. One for the end here. Yeah, that's a mistake. This is a way worse time than previous Forte. right for me. It's been consistent today and through testing. It's been good. I despise maintaining splits. Nice pattern. Two in a row. If you're wondering why I don't flash bomb immediately as soon as Green Devil's up there, it's because if you flash bomb too early, you can actually, like, have your flash bomb inside the hitbox for doing damage to the eye. And then instead of actually doing good damage, you do terrible damage, and it messes with the iframes significantly. The short version is you have to wait for the... There's like a gloop animation. A gloop anim- <laughs> Split on every- <laughs> You could definitely split on like every room if you wanted to. I split on every refight. I really should be double tapping these. Do it, don't do it, do it. I'm on the wrong weapon. That's pretty crazy, tell me. Hey boy. Yeah, it's, it's like simple image detection. And like a lot of the a lot of the transitions are like simply black screen, so it's really not crazy magic. 
But some of them are checking. Specific. Uh, specific screens to match. It doesn't work for every game, but it's pretty good for Mega Man. Besides your life bar. Yeah, besides your life bar and your weapon bar, like the rest of the screen is usually pretty consistent. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, Krimi. I just, I really don't like sublets at all. I agree that it probably should roll up into one, but I don't know. Sub Switz are just ugly to me. I don't think the way Live Switch deals with them. I, like, I guess they're okay in concept. Uh, that is not. That was almost really good, but then I I was on Flash Bomb instead of Bomb. Or Ball Jump. That's not the right weapon at all. Carnival. Catch me at the carnival. Yeah, what's up, Sunday? Good morning. Had your DQ4 go yesterday? Oh, God. If I was a little quicker, I could have landed and done another jump and killed them off screen. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should revisit it. I gotta be throwing my flash bombs higher for that particular instance where he jumps and he doesn't take damage. Booga, stop sliding. I gold it on the first and last of the replay. Yeah, Tango was rough. Elena Chan? No. It's always Elena Chan. put into uh not that much but i will say that i at one point did open up the ram editor messes my x and y values and try to put myself up there and it didn't spawn like the stage wasn't actually spawned until you actually clear the bosses so that alone is kind of like rip it's not like you could possibly clip in there or something, like, it's checking to see that you beat all the bosses. 
that kind of makes sense because the platform is glowing only after you defeat 8, so it must be loading a different scene or something like that, I don't know. Same thing with Swordman. That was the big one. Like, Brief Fight Skip has always been... No one's really, like, actually thought it was gonna be a thing. But Swordman, it's like... If you're not familiar with that stage, there's like four little barriers that you have to put down by doing... four parts of the stage. And if you could just squeeze over there, then that would be great. Uh, but... It's the same thing there. It's not actually loaded. I get to put a caveat in my last split that it's minus. I, it's like two seconds or so from last input. GG, 5250, died in Y3. Again. Getting into like 51 territory is pretty good. I'll let the anime play out. I'm gonna go for a while today. Back. Jeez. Kimi no kokoro ga mada aku ni ubaware te inakereba, kore de tasukaru hatsu da.君は今まであれほどに正義のために働いていたのか君がいればこの惑星も安心だろうどうしたのクマ大丈夫だしばらくすれば気がつくだろう私の仕事は終わったもう君たちと会うことも無いだろうロックマンのことは頼んだ一つ忘れていたうんすまないが頼みがあるロックマンしっかりしてロックマンロールちゃん そうじゃ、龍王君が助けてくれたんじゃよ。龍王。龍王ならもう行っちまったぜ。ブルース。ロックマン、あいつから伝言を頼まれている。デュオから何デュオ僕もありがとうデュオ
All right. This game was produced by Keiji Inafune and Bamboo. I did not draw any original content. I don't think I could come up with something as good as this one right here. I think they said they used the Pirate Man one here. Yeah, this one. The face is for real Pirate Man. This one with a third leg. You decide what it is. Tail or something else. I guess it's like a it's either bass drum. They end up maybe Anubis made it into Man Zero, and then straight up just anime roll drum. Mizumi Man's here. I don't know this. I have no idea. rules. Words and music, not lyrics, the words. Special thanks to Knob Knob. More rich. Oh, they use this in uh, Rockman and Forte. Mirai Kara no Chosencha. Mets movement random. Can't say I've looked at that. I don't really have any like short or midterm goals with this game. I just want to play it a lot. I want to be, like, ready for the run when it comes. And, uh... It's not something that just comes in the game often. Completely messed this up. Robot man, no way, man. Sheep man? Only the highest quality design. <laughs> Figured if anybody knew him. Jump farming. Ready? 
That's all you tell me. This is blow up city. Love a good sub pixel. Why was I not charging? Huh? Cost me eight seconds. All right, if Urun is uncooperative, I'll just reset. See, that's the thing. That's that's the information you need. You need to know when your stages are bad, so you can't blame it on the boss. And then you get a god pattern, anyways. Oh, that was so close to me sliding the ball into him. That was like frames away. Oh. Someone who recently opened up this hawk and tried it with like frame advance and had extremely bad results with frame advance. I don't think it's happening. Tell me that monopellon is dedicated to you. I'm sure you're talking about me. Not grenade man. Or the ball. Eyeball. Man, I really lost seven and a half seconds on grenade man one. What I was thinking about, I was like, I was actually kind of surprised that other Mega Man runners don't split. For stage versus boss. I guess it depends on the the bosses. Uh, like in this game, there's tons of variants, so I think in the grand scheme of things, it makes sense. when Cloudman jumps around four times in Thunder Carnival, I can know. It wasn't my fault. Thank you, Hoda. Gives me power. Speedrun power on a Sunday morning.
speaking the other day about like dumb high school jokes. We used to do that all the time. We used to do like some pathetic like we'd be like hanging out somewhere and then you would just do some like whack pathetic <laughs> jump over something or like <laughs> you'd be like oh parkour. What's up, cool kid? Ready? Subtle tech of using ball jump, or sorry, using Mega Ball, and like kicking it with your head when you're in the middle of a platform jump. I love it. It's really good. I tried par parkouring a little bit. I was doing some free running stuff. It was fun, it's just I was a swimmer, so I was always like terrified of breaking breaking a bone or something like that. This run's a good one. It's random, but it's a lot of fun. It's like one of the most fun games I've speedrun. You know, I haven't done either Mega Buster or Mega Ball only in this game. I should. I haven't done it for Rockman 4K either. I think that would be like a fun dream day one day. Rockman and Forte. Use Forte. Buster only. No upgrades. Just one one damage at a time. 60 iframes on most bosses. I think 
I mean, weapon ammo is like a huge concern. I'm not sure what you do against Green Devil. Like, Blight King probably takes a billion years, but Blight King at least gives you ammo. I'm also not sure what you do against Final Wily. It's probably use Buster. You can only hit Final Capsule with Flash Grenade. Flash Bomb. Uh, yeah, Flash Bomb, Flame Sword, and Buster. Actually, I'm not even sure about Buster, now that I think about it. Beat? No. The TAS. Yeah, the Cold Man fight. Subpixel thing because usually I there's a slide there that usually you don't clip. I'm sorry, usually you do clip the, the platform, but there I just slid right over it. Alright, whatever. That's good. You don't always get the attack there without ice wave, but if you do, big wins. Actually, that was a pretty good pattern. I missed one ice wave, but it was pretty good. Rush surprise, yeah. That makes sense. No, it's a hack tool. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is just our third run. We're just kind of doing some mostly no reset runs for a little while. But for me, like a 52 already is not bad. Hactyl Cole, I want you to, when the next time you're doing Bowser throws, I want you to rev up the engine by doing a bunch of troll sticks, twists. And then try just holding up on the troll stick. See what happens. Alright, train section finally went well. Vector. That was really good. Damn, that was good. Woo! Throws rough. Nice PV. That's 
that's just not it. I've been trying a new strat that's blowing up, apparently. <laughs> Damn. I'm trying to kill, the, or I'm trying to hit the Kaizak on the way up. No! It's over. It's SGDQ all over again. Minus seven to plus six. Brutal. Clown two is actually a hard stage. That was a good fight, though. Gotta get those flash grenades out quicker. Makes me sad that Duo got no love from this series from here on out. That is just the wrong button. What happened? My menu split, no. Look at that. See? You wouldn't want that muddied up in your astro split. You gotta have a shop split. Power fighter. about how big his one fist is, his ball power up, the power of the blue ball, inspiration from Agenheim. Ready? 
Get all the bulbs, Astro Man just forfeit. That was the worst fake out. New little Hoochie. No, I'm gonna die. Okay. I got lucky with the last hit there being on the right side. That was a good fight, actually, for dealing with Astro Crush. Imagine a world in which Smash only had like your B or C tier characters. Like Duo. <laughs> duo and then like Punchinello. It's always Punchinello. Punchinello is always on my mind. Above now. Oh, yeah. Waluigi? Mm -hmm. How about like Impa? You can get Jeff from Earthbound. Sword 
TAS Garone. Hoda, are you watching the TAS next to my run so you can be even more disappointed by my gameplay? Let's see how it is. Ready? How's that helpfulness? <laughs> yeah, Youngster Joey. I don't need the wind. What? Tier FE characters, yeah. Deke. My oh, man, Deke. That was a very aggressive platform. I like it. I think I should look at optimizing that a little bit better. It's legitimately hard to do that fast and safe. But I think maybe at the end you can just slide off the platform. Yeah, against Garone, pretty much every sub weapon does 4 damage. So it's all about the utility. And that's what's cool about that fight, and that's what makes it hard. Like, there's legitimate uses for Ice Wave going down, Flash Grenade hanging to the sides, or Flash Bomb. And then Thunderclaw as well. Though I don't, I don't really like using Thunderclaw that much. Oh. 
<gasps> Why did I panic? What was that? Could you not do that? Kind of rough today. Oh, yeah, the the iframe. Yeah, there are a few things like that that are just like ridiculous to try to go for. Same with the rush. Rush bike stuff, getting the double jump specific frame. Did I get six lives? What? Keeps happening, dude. I'm like a frame off every time. Oh god. Oh. I meant to have flash bomb out. Up. I was lucky. Yeah, man, a tenamino can cost you a lot of time. I'm really close on that first hit, just frame or two off. I think that past one was two frames off, but I think the previous run was one frame off. That was almost really good. 
I'm pretty glad that this game gives you your weapon energy back every stage. It wouldn't be that hard with the exception of Mega Ball to route differently. stages. Where'd I die? Yeah, it was Wily 3 second. That's where I died. Ran out of balls. Can't run out of balls, man. So now I'm definitely going to be low on balls. Good use of my ball, huh? And he's all the way over here. Look how much time loss this is. Oh my god. You suck. <laughs> That's too bad because otherwise that was like not a bad fight. I got one ball. I guess I'm using it right here. Maybe not. I'm gonna save it. Oh god! Get out of here! Oh god. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, 
Why does it have to be like this? <laughs> Still see 15 seconds, but I really lost 15 seconds. I just didn't die. Speaking of dying, I very well could be dead here. Done. <laughs> <Did> he? <laughs> no, I thought it was five max. I thought it was five max, and he was going off screen. Damn, I guess it's not. I could have swore it was five max. Oh god. Oh yeah, good point. Check this optimal pattern here. No. Get the jello wave. See, what's fun about these splits is that you get to try to get golds on the refights. And that, that forte being all the way to the left. Ugh. Tragic. Well, it was bound to happen. Didn't happen yet today. That hitbox is so light. Oh god, no no no. I gotta risk it. I really should have flame sword on here. Ready? Itayo, I think it's basically it hurts. Had to happen.
This is the second time it happened. Try to use the ball jump and I had grenade on. Flash bomb. You know, in that case, I should have... yeah. What am I doing? Uh, I should have the tornado hold only already going so that when it comes out of... Carnival... Instantly dies... For the last hit. Nice pattern. Tango Man is hard. Tango Man just has so many permutations and it's very quick weapon swapping. What's also hard is that to go from Mega Ball to Ice Wave and the first time you fight Tango Man is two R presses, but in the refights it's three. It's a Thunder Claw. That was good. Good finish there. Don't jump, or don't slide. I'm surprised that grenade refight lost time.
自己。Well, we started off by like blowing up grenade man. Urun, it's good. Uh, yeah. And then it was like fine. Wait, what? What else happened here? Oh yeah, Clown Man Two was a disaster. So. Uh, was it? Yeah, Astro Two was. And then really just. Wily 3 being Wily 3. There's like over a minute between Forte and not dying on Green Devil, which should never happen. Let's let the music play. I'll probably do another run or two. It's very fun. Sets of splits. Let's see what the variance is already. have no idea what I'm doing. Wait, what? <laughs> Where did my splits go? <laughs> So within three runs, my sum of best is basically my PB in this game. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's probably like 10 seconds faster. It's just actually getting, getting the nuts. Of everything to line up during an actual good run is unlikely. Oh, 
Auto Splitter. Auto Splitter's been doing well today. No complaints, really. Had and it hasn't messed up once. You might as well go for that hard jump because you're going to be waiting anyways for the Amoner to roll down. But the Green Devil Jet, there's nothing you can do about that, because that's a black screen transition, so... If I ever die like that, I just need to catch it. Not all auto-split is... on a black screen, but some of them are. I used a loading screen for some of them. I don't really want to be resetting over the intro stage, but I also don't really want a sloppy intro stage, so... Second slide. Yo, thanks, Sig. Grew myself. And the Met was going the wrong way. Alright, there I was a little slow. I guess it's not really worth going for. Split program worked, but my splits didn't. Hmm. 
Oh no. I got rid of a column that dictates what run or what Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> I got rid of the split delta column. <laughs> no. Shows I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh yeah? Okay. Just in time. There at the end, I waited for a full charge because he only had three health left. Rather than do two shots of two. To my knowledge, this is the only classic Mega Man game where your half charge actually does have a significant difference. Most half charge in most Mega Man games, the half charge Buster only does one damage, just the same as like a regular shot. But in this game, damage kind of works differently in this game. A lot of bosses and your own health is 40 instead of the standard 28. So your buster shot 1, half charge 2, and then fully charged is 3. Why was this penguin here? What? Oh god. What is this penguin doing here? Anyways. The half charge is legitimately useful in this game. It also has some piercing qualities on regular enemies. But it's really good against Grenade Man. Because the you can get more DPS out of half charges than full charges, and it's just 
generally safer too, to get more opportunities to pivot. There are some instances in which you wait for the full charge during the fight, and then especially at the end. But what's tough about this game and that the bar is that it's hard to tell the difference between like if the boss is 2 HP or 3 HP left, or if it's 10 or 9 HP. Whereas in most other classic Mega Man, you've got the like the notch system, so you know exactly. It's kind of a shame it's not like that, but. Introduces no no ticking when you pick up a health or weapon drop. So it's fine by me. No delay. I mean, that could have been better. I originally wanted all my splits to be when you enter the ball store, which is usually true, but the image detection had a really hard time with this screen right here, and that kind of makes sense. As soon as you enter the ice blocks on the top are moving, and I think the image detection doesn't work great with a lot of white. I'm interested in after doing a whole bunch of runs and seeing. Like, I've. There are some bosses that I maybe think are more consistent than they are, like Frostman. Grenade Man is a big one. Grenade Man I know has variants, but I'm curious how much. Whoops. A bust shot there. I gotta grab this, I think. I missed one.
like how the head just gives up chasing you after a while and then just starts spinning around. looking at my stuff and best before, but like, that's probably... I I imported these splits from my like original set of splits, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of the golds are not... not right. But realistically, with the new set of splits, I'm just gonna have to do a whole bunch of runs before I can really like analyze them. Something about the three auto scrollers in this game that they really just don't feel like slogs or auto scrollers to me. I mean, Frostman, you literally, like, you legitimately need to be paying attention. In this one, there's like enough to worry about that keeps you on your toes, and then Wily One, you legitimately need to pay attention. So it doesn't feel like uh, you know a mindless drag. Okay, change my strat there on the fly. It's not good. That's actually pretty good. Maybe not super fast, but it was good reaction. I learned recently that you can buffer a jump or a slide or a shot out, out of your pause menu. It's not really helpful, but it is interesting. Because you can't buffer otherwise in this. I was trying to not blow up the trains at the time. Uh, you know, we somehow saved it. Good. Good pivot. No! There are three different outcomes there. Two of which the reverse damage boost is good, and one of them is that, which is bad.
getting eaten by the the mini the mini roll. No clown man disasters. No clown man disasters involves not just stopping. That was good. That's what I was talking about last time, which was to have the tornado hold out ready for when the Thunder Carnival ended. Unfortunately, that comes at the cost right there of me not being in the middle of the room, which I don't know if that offsets it, but I, I think no matter what, I would rather secure the kill as quickly as possible rather than be in the middle of the room. you press right for a frame or two before you go down a ladder, it cancels your slide and you'll get down the ladder quicker. Nice. It's true. Slide cancels are even in this game. Can't escape me forever, Mega Man 6. That was actually unfortunate. I need to be more cognizant of Rockman's position. Should be on the left side. savings on the shop split and more to be had. on the top ledge right here is really tragic. It just messes with everything, man. Save me like a second, maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't worry. Got the bolt. God, that was a really good stage. Oh, frick. Alright, now we get to bust out the, the jank tornado hold strats. Oh god, please go down for me. Right away, please. Well, kind of. This is just... Uh, let's just can. Let's try again. That was too bad. I did at least get to save that split. I got rid of that. Astro Man split. It's always the tree, man. Yeah, not getting that. I'm surprised I didn't get that party ball drop. Woo! That was close. Yeah, I think that's the implication. That's Mecha Dragon.
かりました博士I'm not too worried about my runs being fast for a while, but having like a really messed up intro stage. I don't know what it is about intro stages in games. Speedruns. They just have this like insane tendency to be a disaster zone. It's not even like me being strict about having a perfect stage run. It's like not even that at all. They just have a tendency of just going disastrously wrong. Especially rocking a forte. Save nine seconds on a mini boss. Cool jump, dude. That was really close to getting hit again. That's not a new strat, that's just a bad strat. Getting hit. <laughs> Kill Varian, yeah. <laughs> Kind of rough fight. You beat Grenade Man. You got Flash Bomb. Green's such a blow up today. There's like four or five enemies, dude. <laughs> I'm like panicking and dying.
Happy Pi Day? What better way to celebrate than playing Rockman 3 plus 1 plus 4? Yeah, that climb that was good. I think I should be opening this fight with a fully charged buster shot. It does the same as the flash grenade, but like... Oh, I'm too far to the left. That sucks. I got hit to the to the left. Yep. That sucks. He got his last attack in, which doesn't isn't a threat. But he did cost me some time. Yeah. That gold splits off. Definitely.
How many other Mega Man games feature auto with a bazooka? Zero. get hit. It's always, it's always the solution. Don't get hit. If I get hit by Spike, I'm dead. Yeah, two, two and a half seconds though, because of having to backpedal on the boss a little bit, mini boss. Yeah, I guess so. That was a well executed. That's not bad. Woo! 
Missed the jump. Almost had it though. Yo, what's up, PM? How you doing? Thunder Carnival. That's unfortunate. Cloud Man got hit by the base of the tornado hold rather than the actual attack, which does one damage instead of. I think it's five. Anyways. All smell is on pie day. Nice. It's going pretty good. Yeah, the climb is good. The one I do there is a slightly easier one. There's a... There's one strat that'll save 20 frames, but it's very... Very tricky. Ugh. That slide keeps happening. Okay, good. been good. Yeah. That was actually a good fight. If you get one blue ball and the timing works out, it's really not that bad. Dedicate this shop menu to Pi Day. Woo! Double gold. Ledge balls. What? Well, <laughs> not gold in this one. Unless I go for the skip and get it. But I think we're just gonna. deal with our losses. I can't believe that Gabby all hit me. That was really whack. Hitbox. Missing the, the monopellin with the Mega Ball, whatever. That legitimately happens, but the Gabby all. It does make it more specific so that people who know what I'm talking about clearly understand. <laughs> but it makes it so that most people have no idea who I'm referring to. But it's better that way. Oh, 
That was really close. That was a good stage. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that sucks. I was not expecting to get hit when I did. That wasn't the worst pattern, but that was a questionably executed fight. Oh well. Average luck and questionably executed are rarely a good combo. That was a battle with uh, weapon swapping, but it was actually still pretty good. It could have been a little bit better, but that was still pretty good. Getting hit by this one. To the moon. I'm really surprised that the Ice Wave plus the two Flash Bombs did not kill the... the Joe. Yeah, what's up, Sam? Thanks. Huge 
mondo. Yeah, I know. I beefed it. <laughs> that is the worst. Also missed this. Please, please get hit. Thank you. This is a lot of time loss. I missed the, the mini boss quick kill and... Sometimes the hitbox. I would love to get a hitbox viewer. I gotta make one. Gear Na I. Gear Na I has some weird hitboxes. Ugh. Everything's cool. Like there, was that jump worth anything? No. No. Oh, that was actually really good. Mi missing the mini boss quick kill is such a bummer. It's really hard on these last four fights. So the last four Robot Masters, you want to be in the middle of the screen. But it it's pretty hard to do that. Because it's like... All four of the bosses are kind of chaotic. Well, except Aquaman. I'll take that back. Aquaman. Aquaman I really should be lining up every time. But the other three. Astro Man. Search Man. Sword Man.
Come on, bird. Help me to help you. Murigatory. There we go. <gasps> Second attempt at that was like a poverty version of the first. Too bad. This is Disaster City. Oh my god. No hemming, okay. Truly a tragic stage. Everything is off by like a few frames and pixels everywhere. That's too bad. That that ball jump to get through the the gate is tricky and dangerous. What? Right, so like being in the middle of the screen for Search Man. It's like not gonna happen. If he's on the left side like that. With a close range weapon. That's really too bad. I mean, going out of Aquaman. To here, it's plus 40. I mean, a lot of that's the death, but, you know. Yeah, I'm still a 34, though. Getting a true, fast search man gold. It's really not easy. It's probably one of the harder golds to get. I would say Astro Man is probably the hardest goal to get. And then maybe... I don't know. I don't know what's harder, either Tengu Man... The thing is, like, Tengu Man can often, I say often, like relatively often, give you a very nice pattern. And as long as you're ready to react to it, then you'll get a nice goal. But Search Man... Search Man is like, there, there's a lot of permutations, and it's easy to not be able to get to his jump height to hit him. I guess that's true for Tengu Man as well, but it feels a little different. I don't know. I guess I would say Tengu Man and Search Man are the next hardest together after Astro to get a gold. And then everybody else is just kind of... Like, there's nothing hard about getting a Clown Man Gold, you just have to not get Thunder Carnival. Whoops, that was too early. No! It keeps happening.
Alright, let's just try not to die in Wily 3. Let's try to have a nice ball situation in Wily 3. Okay. If we can do that, anything can happen. Yeah, the other the other bosses like Clown Man, Sword Man, Grenade Man. They are execution based, but not nearly as much difficulty, I would say. This At least we got that. <laughs> it's one redeeming factor. Dealing with ladders is always pain in Mega Man games. It's just such a sensitive, up, like any up input to put you on the ladder when you're trying to climb next to it. It's really hard to do ball jumps and switch between left and right and not accidentally hit up on the D-pad. Alright, Blight King. You wanna save this run? Did you wanna dumpster it? Like the dumpster. Ooh, I love a good dumpster. Attention. What a good ball. It can get even worse than that. If every other move Fly King opens his Horizontal wings.
That was good HP recognition to know that I could just Astro Crush twice. I got three balls. Which means I should climb the ladder a bit. Whoops. to cut out one mega ball usage on my way up to Forte. Sub boxes. Ready? Insane gold split. So if you damage boost into Swordman's legs while he separates his body, they only do one damage to you. So it's like a very good opportunity to. PB is a 50-58. I have new splits here because I'm testing out auto split. I'm probably going to import my old splits eventually, but this is the first day back in quite a while for this game. So. Yeah, about two minutes faster than what you see here. I got this earlier today. Bonsai. Thank <laughs> you. 
Could have been a little better. Thanks. Carnival is fine by me. Yeah, I was gonna say that that was actually a really good clown fight. If I was quicker, I could have mega bold and hit grenade man there. It's actually still pretty good though, yeah. Did you know that the Yashichi is in this game? If you summon Rush, the Yashichi can be dug up. Anything? Maybe, maybe I have it wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called the Yashichi, the thing that shows up in Mega Man One. It's not in many games. I know they put it in easy mode in Mega Man 10, maybe in 9 as well.
He has Capcom, yeah. GG. Is there a Konami equivalent though? I couldn't think of one. Alright, GG. Uh, yeah, I mean, stupid death. It cost me a billion. Even still, it's a, it's a long road to go. Oh yeah, Bliking also cost me 30 seconds. <laughs> That's right, how could I forget? Early part of this run was looking pretty nice though. <laughs> what am I playing on? A Japanese Slim PS2 90K model with Rockman 8. Honestly, I'm just happy this thing still works. I hadn't turned it on in like two and a half years. And it's, uh, it works fine. Yeah, PS2 is, yeah. At any point, I won't be surprised if this thing starts to go. I'm supposed to do a, the Dragon Quest IX annual this month, which I'm like down to do, uh, but fortunately, I think my DS is like <laughs> its last legs. Why not play Legacy Collection? Well, the, the fastest runs of this game all use the original version. And Legacy Collection does have some specific differences. Some loading time differences. Remembering seven. Look how big his shoulders are. How small his legs are. It's a good start to the day. A good start to the day, a good start to the return of this game. My plan is to not fall off. I'm gonna finish up Mario and Luigi maybe this week. And I think between this and Dragon Quest 3, I wanna. I think I wanna dedicate this spring to true speed gaming. True speed gaming. This game, I just, I'm not so concerned about getting a PB like I am in some other goals. I just want to play and push this game. It's very good and very fun. 
I mean, I would love to PB, but I'm not. Last time I played this, I like had the goal of getting a 50, and now it's like, I just want to be good at the game and consistent. This is a hard game to, like, expect results from. I'll probably do another few days of runs against these splits and then I'll eventually import my old splits. Not import, I have to, like, manually do them. Nah, the X-Series isn't really for me. I raced Mega Man X2 in a GDQ a few years ago. But I really just prepared that for a race rather than try to push a PB. I mostly hang out in the later Classic Series and uh, Zero Series. Though I think I put a, put a bow on the Zero series. It's good, it's just hard. Alright, well, we did four runs today. I'm actually like kind of pleasantly surprised with a 52 and there was definitely potential for better. We'll be back in 51 territory. Pretty close. Auto Spiller is working great. Really happy with it. Alright, that's it for me today. I think I will be back tomorrow with Mario and Luigi. Alright, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.